number, the next thing I want to talk about was just the smart thermostat system, uh, systems out there. So uh, I'm currently working on a job. Uh, well, I'm, I'm proposing it to somebody. And the guy asked me about, you know, smart thermostats, right? We proposed the Savant thermostat because we're doing a Savant system for him. Um, and with that, you know, he was, he, he also was obviously heard of the Nest, which seems like, you know, most, if you're interested in smart homes, you've probably heard of Nest. So he was just like, I heard that Nest may be better than the Savant system. Um, you know, what's kind of your thoughts? Um, uh, so with that, and I had my answer for that one pretty, pretty standard because I was the week before looking at Nest versus Ecobee, uh, for, for a job. So I'll give the three comparison, right? So I think they're all, they're all good products. Uh, although let me stop. I haven't installed Ecobee yet. I, I do think we're going to be potentially installing in this next client. Um, I think they're, they're all, they all seem to be good products. Uh, I've read a lot of reviews. It seems like people are saying that Ecobee is even better than the Nest thermostat. Um, what I think separates Nest from really the rest is that is the smarts in it. Um, that that it that it learn it most it seems to have the most capabilities around learning your um, your routine and then being able to adjust in, in because of that. Uh, the challenge that it has is it doesn't communicate with anything else. So the only way that it really learns your routine is if you walk past it, right? So if you have your Nest thermostat in some place that does is not a central location, it really does become a little less obsolete, a little more obsolete, sorry. And if you um, are in a larger home, right, just because you're not walking past your Nest thermostat on the top floor, like on the second floor, and you're walking past the one on the first floor, the second floor still thinks you're not home, so it goes into way mode. Um, which doesn't make sense to me, right? I think it should still know that you're home so that, you know, if it's the middle of the summer, I'm downstairs, my Nest thermostat downstairs knows that I'm home, so the AC's pumping. If I decide to walk upstairs, it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be a, a, a heat box, right? Uh, and I think Nest does not do that well. Um, so... In like apartments again, I think it's a, I think that is the optimal solution. I, that's what I would really that's what I would recommend in small in small instances. Um, in larger homes that they don't care if they're in a one uh, app scenario, I typically would think Ecobee would be a more friendly choice. Uh, and actually, I have to look at like Control Four now that we're doing Crestron if they interact with Ecobee better because if they do, you know, you could still use Ecobee in a larger home um, while uh, still having one app system. But we, when I'm trying to do one app, smart uh, thermostats, you know, being able to control it from anywhere in the world, all that kind of stuff, I'm going Savant thermostat all day. And, and, and it's because it gives you that one app experience that one single pane of glass to, to, to really control your life. Uh, I think that's important. Um, I talked about it last week and I think I said I'm, I'm biased in that. Uh, I think I'm biased. In, I, I, I say it, I said I was biased in that because I'm an integrator. I think I'm biased in that because I've lived with these products and, and I'm, I'm experiencing that now through more people I talk to when I'm, uh, proposing a, a, a system for them is that if they've lived with smart home products before, they don't want multiple apps. Whereas if they've never had a smart home before, it seems that they're more open to having, you know, multiple apps.